Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Electronics Workshop. Today in this video we will see Operation of PIR motion sensor in detail Motion detection signal in oscilloscope And make a automatic motion detector alarm circuit using PIR sensor This is the PIR sensor that we are using in our project. First of all, we will see about different pin and setting available in this sensor. We can see three pin in this sensor. Two pin are power pin, and one pin is data out pin. We must connect positive terminal of battery to VCC and negative terminal of battery to ground. We receive output from data out pin. There are two port available in this sensor where we can adjust the setting as per our requirements. The first port is used to adjust the delay time. Generally, we can set the delay time of this sensor from 0.3 second to 5 minutes. And the second port is sensitivity adjust. By tuning this port we can adjust the working range of PIR sensor. We can set the sensitivity up to 6 meter. All the living beings emits infrared radiation to surrounding. Warmer the object more will be the infrared emission. The passive infrared sensor is a thermal infrared sensor that detects the motion of objects by these infrared radiations. The sensor has two or more equal slots made up of pyroelectric material that is very sensitive to infrared. When there are no object in the sensor range, both its slots sense the same amount of infrared radiations. When a warm body comes in the range of the PIR motion sensor, it passes through both the slots one after the other. The moment it intercepts the first half of the sensor, a positive differential change is caused between the two halves. Similarly, when it leaves the detection area a negative differential change occurs between both the slots. These changes in the pulses are the indication to the sensor that there is some motion in its detecting zone. There are two mode in PIR sensor. We can select the different modes by shifting the jumper. The first mode is normal mode. When the passive infrared sensor detects motion, it sets the output to height a certain predefined time set by potentiometer. This mode is independent of the movements during the output high time. In the figure above, T1 is first motion detected. The output go high when the first motion is detected. T2 and T3 are second and third motion detected, but in this case the output is not set high as it falls in delay interval. After the output is set for some predefined time there is fixed delay. This mode is also independent of the movements during this fixed delay time. The output is set high for the fourth motion, T4, but the output is not high for T5, as it fall in fixed delay time. The second mode is re-triggering mode. In this mode when the PIR sensor detects motion, it sets the output to high, until a set adjusted time, but if it detects motion during its output high state 1. It again triggers the sensor to increase the output high period of the sensor. In re-triggering mode, T6 is the first motion detected. T7 does not trigger the sensor because it is within the fixed delay interval. T9, T10, T11, which occurs after T8 triggers the sensor, extend the time delay since they occurred within the adjusted delay interval. This is the circuit diagram of automatic motion detector alarm circuit using PIR sensor. It has very simple circuit which contains PIR motion sensor, buzzer, and power supply. We are using 12 volt power supply and buzzer of 3.3 volt rating. We know that if we directly connect our buzzer to 3.3 volt power supply, the buzzer will beep. But the objectives of this project is to beep the buzzer only when the sensor detects the motion. If we measure the voltage across the data pin of PIR sensor, we get zero volt when no motion is detected. So, buzzer does not beep when motion is not detected. And there is 3.3 volt in data pin when motion is detected. This 3.3 volt is directly given to positive terminal of buzzer. The buzzer will produce the beep sound when motion is detected. You can get a complete detail about this project in my website Electronics Workshops. The link of the project is provided in the description of this video.
we have also placed order link of the components in our website. So it may be very useful if you are doing the same project. This much for this video. See you in next video with another interesting topic. Have a great day.